who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Edmund UCO's elite. It's time for your annual checkup. Lucky for you, I'm here because doctors take their confidentiality serious around here. What's making the headlines on my homepage? Blair Waldorf. Well, I was going to wait till after dinner, but I guess now is as good a time as any. Did you call Daddy and say that I didn't want to see him this Thanksgiving? Of course not. What a ridiculous accusation. So you didn't tell him that I was so angry at him for leaving that I didn't even want to talk to him today? You had no right to uninvite him. When are you going to get it through your head? He left us. He didn't leave us. He left you. That's enough. enough. If you want to take this up with me, we can discuss it later, after our guests have left. Right now, you either eat or you leave the table. I told you I'm not hungry. Or maybe... Shall we have a snack? Oh, actually, I need to find a restroom. Buying one lipstick doesn't build up the same appetite. Lucky you can eat at your feast. I'm sorry. Too much coffee. Give the Virgin my regards. I'll show you to door. 
and by door, I mean elevator. <laughs> Over there. I think it's fairly obvious. Our future princess has developed a drug problem. What? No. Uh, Miss Blair, too much control freak to use mind-altered substance, even to help mood swing. I admire your loyalty, but no one uses les toilettes so often, unless they have something to hide. Louis deserves to know what it is. I swear, Miss Blair just have sensitive stomach. Of course. I knew I recognized that faint, acrid smell from boarding school. The pale skin, not eating in public. Blair's obviously bulimic. Yes. No, I I mean, not, not anymore. Only teenage habit of using restroom die hard. But Miss Blair digests everything now. I go make tuna melts for both of you. Our friendship can handle that. Friendship is a tenuous term. Now be a gentleman and we'll run the water. Listening to your name questions. Now I need to say a prayer for tolerance and get out there. Eating disorders can return when people are stressed. Clearly, Chuck is not the only one freaking out here. The only thing freaking me out is that Louise's sister might notice I'm gone and get suspicious. Why would you worry about her being suspicious if you weren't bulimic? Blair, this isn't a joke. We are not leaving this room until you agree to get help. I don't need help. Who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip girl. 